We're about to get started. Hope everybody has a cup of coffee, some tea, some treats. Can everyone hear me? You can't hear me. Hmm. Can you hear me now? All right. Not sure what the difference is between this, which is working on the exact same system, and this. This or this? This or this? All right. We'll stick with this one. All right. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here today. You made a big effort to come out in the nasty weather. It's not cold, but it's definitely not pretty out there. So thank you. All right, so we're going to get started. If you go ahead and start, we're going to record this program for posterity and for all the people who couldn't be here today because they were not as cool as you for coming out in the weather. So give yourselves a pat on the back. My name is Denise Reagan, and I'm so excited to introduce Combined Circles, FFGC turns... 100, that's right. I'm Denise Reagan. I'm the executive director of the Garden Club of Jacksonville. And joining us from our staff today, they're all over the place, but right here is Corinne Lightfoot, because she's helping us record this program. Sandy Keller has been working in the kitchen. There she is there. She's our new events manager. And Gary DeSue, who is everywhere all the time um, roaming, because um, he's taking care of this place. He's our new campus caretaker. I'd like to um, thank the uh, co-chairs of Combined Circles. One of them checked you in today, Connie Long, back there. Woohoo, Connie! Yay! And I don't know if LaVon is here today. Is LaVon here? No, she's busy doing many other things. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's give them a round of applause for doing great work. This is the second Combined Circles of the year, and we have one more coming. So I just heard like the, the dulcet tones of Disney, I think, um, was the ringtone. So that's a good reminder to go ahead and silence your devices. Okay, so we have one more Combined Circles in this fiscal year, and it's called Lifelong Learning. Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, or OLLI, is UNF's Division of Continuing Education, promotes life-enhancing approaches to positive aging. OLLI is a place where you can keep current, grow personally, and enjoy the simple pleasure of learning new things. Join OLLI director, Jeanette Tuhi, as she discusses the classes UNF provides. Has anyone ever taken an OLLI class? Anyone? Okay, well then you're gonna get really great stuff. I think I saw one hand back there, maybe that was Lauren. So yeah, definitely check that out. That is March 21st, 2024, this year. All right, I would also like to thank the sponsors of today's program, the Wildflower Circle, who provided all this lovely treats for you. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> delicious stuff. So thank you so much to the wildflowers. Uh, I'd like to ask who here is a member? Raise your hand. Now pat your backs for being members of Garden Club Jacksonville. Thank you so much. All right, if you're not a member of the Garden Club, and I think there were a few people who didn't raise their hands, it's always a good time to join. See me, see Corinne, our, our events, our marketing and membership manager, um, and we'd love to tell you ways that you can join and be a part of Garden Club Jacks. We have several circles who are meeting after today that I wanted to recognize. The Alderman Park Garden Club. Let's hear for them. Put your hands up. You're somewhere there. Yeah, you're mixed in. Oh, you're back there. Um, Daylily Garden Circle. Yay, yeah, let's hear for Daylily. Garden Divas is meeting today as well. There's a lot of you here. And then Watsonia Garden Circle. Yay, let's hear for all the circles that are meeting today. So keep in mind when we have our next Combined Circles program on March 21st, if you call us and let us know you want to meet, we'll set up tables and chairs for you so that you're ready to meet as soon as the program ends. And if we run out of space in here, we'll find space for you elsewhere. So we'd love to have as many circles that want to meet afterward meet here. All right, it's a great way also if you're trying to find programs for your circle, use the, the, the Combined Circles so you can take a break from programs that month. All right, I'd also like to thank all the members of the Board of Trustees who are here, and there are a lot here. So if you're a member of the Board of Trustees, please stand and be recognized. 
There we go. <laughs> Susan, <laughs> Kathy, <laughs> Tiffany, Lauren, uh, Anne. Mary Ann. All right. So yeah, we have at least six or seven here. So thank you so much to the board of trustees. All right. This is very exciting. And it's actually the last day that you can register for the designer's distinction. Who already has a ticket? All right. So some of you have some work to do. Um, the designer distinction is January 31st, so just a couple of weeks away. Um, Andy Hopper is going to do an in-depth presentation and floral demonstration called Bringing Out the Designer in You. Andy will construct and share several designs that reflect the wide range of work he does with Bloom's Design Studio uh, by HED, which is a um, uh, chain in Texas. And he's a professional consultant that does work throughout the world. Um, so today is your last chance to register. And if you need help, please see me or Corinne. We'd be happy to help you in the office get registered. We've already sold about 110 tickets, but we have room for more. And if you want to sit with your circle, you will automatically be um, registered to sit with your circle. So please register today. All right, now the main attraction. Our speakers today are FFGC District 4 Director, Sam Runyon. There she is. And former District 4 Director, Connie Gladding. There she is. Sam is also a member of the Wildflower Circle and a former um, member of the Garden Club, Jack Garden Club of Jacksonville Board of Trustees. And please come to the stage and take it away. I'd like to introduce one more person. Ah. I invited uh, District 4's Assistant Director, Steve Davies, and his lovely wife, Mary Ann. Welcome. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. Good. And Sam, there's mm -hmm. one for you there as well. Thank, Thank you for the for invitation, invitation to be, to be here. here. That's, That's still, still working, working good? good? Okay, okay, good. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll put it around my neck. What do you what think, do you of, think the of the fascinator? Hello? Yeah, I see that camera. Um, when we were getting ready for this presentation, I was thinking, well, what would the ladies look like 100 years ago? You know, what would they look like? They wouldn't be in pantsuits, I don't think, right? No, I have on boots. I don't think they'd be in boots either. And I don't have gloves on. But I thought I could put on a little hat. So there's the fascinator. The, the other thing is, is that at our convention, we have a workshop on Thursday afternoon, and you can sign up to learn how to make a fascinator. So those are Thursday afternoon, and those, those seats are limited. It'll be a total of 100 who can attend. It's two sessions, and there are 50 people each. So it is limited, so the first come, first serve. On Friday afternoon, is uh, corsage making. So on Thursday, you can do a fascinator. On Friday, you could do a corsage. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're talking about hats. You're talking about fascinator. And you're the next girl. interrupting me. I want to explain my hat. It is not my It's It's our birthday.
shelter and don't forget your camera. And you can volunteer to be a hostess or a clerk or do a design. And if you have any questions, ask Miss Sam Ryan. Put you in touch with people, and she'll put you in touch with people because the flower show in the spring is going to be in here, and in the summer there'll be a horticulture exhibit. It's going to be wonderful. We will have a good time in the spring. In the spring, there will be different and lots of information and exhibits and. All kinds of opportunities and things to do, including shopping. There will be designs standing around the hotel. There will be banquets. There will be cocktail parties. There will be all kinds of parties. You will meet new friends. You will learn a lot of information. You will learn a lot of information. So mark the day. Let's celebrate. With all these cakes. Thank you, Carol. I'm so glad she did that. There's no way. I'm not no way. Um, for our um, PM is our PM is here. So she will be the hostess chair for the convention. It's an easy job. You sit at a table and you tell people where to go. It's really simple. <laughs> um, so she will be signing people up. If you're interested, you have a couple of shifts. If you can be a hostess for a, uh, an hour, that's fine. If you want to be a hostess for two hours or four hours, whatever, it's fine. We definitely need them there for our meals. Um, because we have to have people take the tickets. Every hostess will be wearing a fascinator. Uh, we want everybody to know that they're the hostess. We have their information, so you'll be able to identify them by wearing their fascinator. Barbara, I brought Barbara. She's a friend of mine. You can stand up, Barbara. Barbara's got hers on in the back. She looks adorable, doesn't she? Thank you. One thing Carol didn't mention. Did you say games? We're playing games. And have y'all heard of Tambula? Have you heard of Tambula? Well, you can look it up. It's a game, and you can win a hundred items of anything. So it might be a hundred toothpicks. It might be a hundred pennies. It might be a hundred dollars. It might be a hundred dollars. District two, which is in the Panhandle, they're going to be responsible for the Tambula. Okay. So let's, so let's get started. On this page, you can see there's a website, website. The, the hotel, hotel reservations, reservations the, uh, the convention registration, registration it's, all it's all online. And I'm going to stay I'm afterwards, stay and I'm going to say afterwards, 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 if anybody, anybody would like help me getting registered, registered we're going to help you get registered. You have to give me your credit card. I'll give it back. I'm also going to ask for volunteers to be hostesses at the convention. Can you hear me? Did you hear me? Well, I can read. I'll, she's she's looking. We have a sign up sheet for the hostesses. So if anybody's interested in sitting at a table, you know, and helping give instructions, or maybe just standing by the door, sitting by the door, taking tickets for the meals, we need your help. And um, District 1 is really in charge of this convention, but they asked District 4, since it's going to be here in Jacksonville, if we would do the hostess responsibility. And so Sam is the hostess chairman for the convention, and I don't know if you know Carolyn Stevens, but Carolyn Stevens, she's in Reball. I think she's in the Judges Council. Judges Council. Judges Council. Um, she, she is, is responsible, responsible for, for the um, flower show hosts. And clerks are. Carol's saying and clerks, and I'm not sure. sure. But, but I know she's know responsible for the hosts. And I am the Florida Federation of Garden Clubs convention coordinator. Convention and I am here in District 4. There's two co chairs, and they're in District 4. Anyway, that's the website. You can see the date. The big night is Friday night. And people are Friday night on that. But the big night is Friday night. But the big night is Friday night. And we'll get to who's going to be there next. Yeah, I can see 
There's yeah, the two see, chairs name. There's the two uh, chairs name. Uh, Carol's already talked to, talk to you about a flower show. It's more than it's a more flower, flower show. show. It, it is horticulture as well. well. So, so if you're a designer design, or you just can grow plants, or we'd or like you to enter. We'd like you to enter. Think about it. You can also join a part of the FFG and as part of the organization, and it is called Tricount. And it's the it's the one part of the Florida Federation of Garden Club that's devoted to the education part. And there's the three schools: it's gardening, landscape design, and environmental. Environmental. I said gardening. There's also an art show. At this convention, I don't know how many of your artists. artists. Anybody, Anybody know artists? No? no? Okay. Anyway, I'm yeah, a dear friend. Plan. She's in Fleming Island's Garden Club. And she's in Fleming and Island's Garden Club. And when she was here, she started painting. Watercolors. And watercolors. she's really excited. She's, really she's already excited. lining up what she's going to put in for the for art show. show. The, the art show itself will, itself will be at the hotel. hotel. So most, so most of the convention, the convention is at the hotel. hotel. The, the only thing that's not at the hotel, hotel is the flower show, show which, which will be here, here in your space. space. Yeah, yeah, we, we will, will have, have a bus from, from the hotel. hotel. If you're staying at the hotel, hotel and you want to come over here for the flower show, show there, there will be a bus that you could ride over. I think y'all have a copy of that. Or most of you have copies. And we talked about the and we talked about the um, flower show. Flower the schedule the is already available. available. And if you're, you, 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 you're designing, you know that with the flower shows, shows they publish a schedule. schedule. That's, That's more than the time. It's, it's all the rules that are in there. there. And, and that, that is, is online. online. And, and Denise, I sent it to you so that anybody needs a copy of it because it's pretty thick. thick. That hopefully you printed it off so that they could hopefully you printed it off so that they could stop and look at the rules. Like I said, it includes. Like I said, it includes. Well, you can see. You can see horticulture, designs, botanical arts. There's educational um, um, exhibits. There's also, also going to be youth. youth. And, and I know, Denise, you've, you've been working on trying, trying to decide vendors, not, not vendors. They really, really would, like would like to have vendors. I don't know if you've made that decision yet or not. And at, and at board the board meeting last, last week, week, I told them you might know about attendance. And they all and they screamed at me and said, hundreds! That's what I got. One other thing. Carolyn Stevens, who is a designer and flower show judge for the Green Bowl Club, she is Submitting an educational exhibit for just four, and her theme is reclamation and recycling because she's also the chairman for District 4 and FFGC for that particular standing committee. So it's going to be exciting to see what she submits. I, I think it's important for all of you to know that this convention is also honoring this club. We're one of the first, one of the first founding, founding clubs. clubs. So this, so this convention, convention is honoring this club. Go Jacksonville. Yeah. There are four, four founding clubs, and your club is one of them. Um, the first convention, y'all know it was held in Jacksonville? It was held in Jacksonville, the first convention for the Florida Federation of Garden Clubs. So they're returning to come back 100 years later. Really special. It's really special for them to be coming to Jacksonville. You do have honor seating. We'll work it with Tiffany on who would be. There, there's going to be two passes for every meal, and so they'll get honor seating up front. You'll have any person from Jacksonville. You're going to have special name tag recognition so that everybody will know that you were a member of the founding club. And there's gonna be special photo opportunities for the founding clubs as well. We're gonna have a huge birthday cake as you come into the hotel. Not real, but a huge <laughs> birthday cake. The invitational designs, they'll all be right there in the lobby as well. Carol, you mentioned you know, the invitational designs. District four, who's doing our invitational design? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, I believe Carolyn Stevens is gonna do that as well. Uh, this is what the website looks like, and when I finish, 
uh, Denise is going to pull it up so you'll be able to see what the website looks like to register and make your reservations. Um, and like I said, we're going to stay later if you would like help with registering. It's pretty straightforward. We've already talked about the convention hostess opportunity. The criteria is um, you're friendly and helpful, right? You don't, yes. even, you don't have to stand. You have to be tolerant of wearing a fascinator. <laughs> Wednesday is Wednesday is the opening Wednesday at 2 p.m. is the opening of the flower show here in the morning they can sign up or you can sign up for a comer museum tour and you could also have lunch so that's Wednesday morning Wednesday afternoon so the grand opening for the flower show 2 p.m. also at the hotel we're gonna have guest speaker Teresa Watson and I'm not sure, Denise, if y'all had Teresa as a guest speaker or not. She's um, a radio, very popular radio host in the Orlando area. I've been fortunate to hear her speak. She's very entertaining. She's also authored several books. She's going to be bringing her most recent book, which is uh, Florida Landscape. She'll be there to sell it. Welcome to your Florida Landscape. She'll be there to sell it and do book signing if you're interested. And her topic that she's going to talk about is 10 new and exciting plants for the next century. Uh, so you could be at the hotel and they're gonna have a box lunch and Teresa um, Watkins as a speaker. And then she'll finish in time for you to get on the bus and come over here for the flower show if you'd like to do that. Or if you wanna do the comer tour, if you wanna do the comer tour, you could just stay over here. And then, um, so there's two options for lunch that day. But if you wanna do this, this is really called the Tri-Council lunch, mm -hmm. but if you'll see it on the registration. And this is open to anybody, and they don't even have to register for the convention. You can pay $30 and come to this program. And what I tell some folks that aren't gonna be able to come to the convention, they could do a one day trip. They could come up here, have lunch with Teresa Watkins, get on the bus or drive over to here, and then do the flower show. So it's a pretty full day. It sounds like a nice field trip to me. But she's a wonderful speaker, Denise. Um, Thursday's guest speaker is Debbie Cooper, and she is the director for Deep South Garden Clubs. So if you're a member of Florida Federation of Garden Clubs, you're also a member of Deep South Regional, you're also a member of National Garden Clubs. So when you pay your FFG dues or your club dues, you're also paying for membership in the Deep South National Garden Clubs as well. And their convention, as it's listed on the slide, is March 19th to 20th at, at the Park Vista Hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I understand that the Deep South conventions are really the fun ones to go to. Last year was like New Orleans, <laughs> New Orleans, and they went through some swamps, and and I really wanted to go, um, but <laughs> I didn't, in the bios, right? In, in the Luis Bayos, Bayos, whatever you call them. Bios, yeah. Bios, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's what he said, I think. Yeah. Also, I, I, you might have had Sam Carr and Mike Adams, the Bartram Trail. So we'll have the Deep South kind of speak for a moment, and then we'll have uh, Sam Carr and Mike Adams, which um, they reenact uh, William Bartram. So it's very entertaining. So that's lunch Thursday. And then Thursday's dinner guest is Xavier Cortada. He is from Miami. He's um, what they call an eco artist. He's been around the world doing um, matching ecology with artists. He's quite an interesting uh, fellow to listen to and to see his works. If you were to Google floor, F-L-O-R 500, you could see a lot. That's his most recent project that he's working on. Um, but he's going to be our guest speaker. I'm excited about meeting him and hearing him. Uh, then on Friday, we'll actually have the National Garden Club speaker, Brenda Moore. She'll also have a book signing um, that she'll be there to sign some books. And the lunch speaker is, y'all probably know her. Do you know her? She reenacts Nina Comer. And I know there's a type. Oh, no, I got the typo fix. Nina. Sorry. I was worried about the H. I always <laughs> want to leave off the H. But Nina. Do y'all know her, Barbara? Have you ever seen her do her... Her, um, I mean, she was in a play. She did a one-person play here in the Jacksonville area. But she's going to be our guest speaker on Friday. She was a speaker at the Nina Kummer 
breakfast or Monica Mar brunch, birthday brunch that All we right, had a couple of years ago. She yeah. did a great job. It was very entertaining. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So who had heard her before? A couple of people? Some, yeah. And then Friday night, I told you that's the special, that's the big gala. Laurel Dowling will be our guest speaker. She served at the White House as the floral designer for more than five years. I want to say six or seven years. She's also written four books. Um, and we're excited to have her come in. Have any of you heard her speak? This is her. I haven't either. This is a, she's a sought after speaker, though. When I looked her up, her engagements are like with American Horticulture Society. She's very much. And this is her most recent book, Floral Designer. She's also very good friends with our designer distinction, Andy Hopper, mm -hmm. and they've done a lot of work together. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Well, how does that lineup sound? Did it sound pretty good? The speakers? We've worked hard to try to get speakers that would interest designers and horticulturists. And if you're a master gardener and you go to some of these workshops, you can get CEU credits. Right. So please pass that on to the master gardeners in your groups. I think I've covered the pre-convention Tuesday. That's primarily set up. And then Wednesday, there's the detailed schedule. Um, art show drop off, art show entries drop off at the hotel, your Comer Museum tour, the Tri-Council Luncheon with Teresa. The there is, oh, there is an early arrivals dinner. And um, this year we're going to have um, a fashion show across the decades. Can our models for District 4 please stand up? They rolled I, their I, eyeballs, Sam. I talked them into uh, doing it. And aren't they perfect for the role? What year? They're going to be, they're going to be 1940s? Yes. 1940s. They'll dress and attire. So, um, you know, it'll be like 1910, 20, 30, 60. So each of the districts has one decade that they're going to be doing. So it should be, it should be interesting. We also will be announcing the flower show winners and the art show winners at that early arrivals dinner. And also from one to six, the vendors will be open at the convention. So if you want to go shopping, there's an opportunity. That's all Wednesday. Uh, here's just a page that tells you what programs and workshops. These are all in the afternoon, so you could sign up to take some of these. You couldn't take them all, right, because some are going to be happening at the same time. Um, hopefully some of those topics get, um, are of interest to you. Uh, I'm excited about listening to David DeVolt. He's a professor out in uh, northwest Florida, and he wants to talk about this, uh, the suffragettes. That, no, is that, did I say that right? Yep. Yeah and the women's vote in 1924. Very entertaining speaker, so I'm interested in that. And there's your fascinators, one and two. That's all Thursday afternoon. So you'd pick maybe two of these that you could go to. And then Friday afternoon, the programs and workshops. Amy Koch mm -hmm. is from Audubon Society, I believe. Um, sure. And it's also the corsage. So you'd pick one or two if you wanted to go to those programs. There's Thursday. We're going to start each day with a stretching exercise. The St. John's County Horticulture Agent, I don't know if y'all know her, Tara Freeman, she'll be leading a stretching, an easy stretching exercise from 7 to 8 every morning. We're going to try to do poolside if, if we can't, if the weather's incumbent, if the weather's inclement, we'll move it inside to the ballroom. Um, you can see what's open. I've already talked to you about the speakers, but that's your whole schedule. And there's your whole schedule for Friday. So mornings like board meeting. And then in the afternoon are your programs and then you have guest speakers. And since it's 100 ways to celebrate 100 years, our president, she, she'll be giving this award, not this year, but next year. She's got a whole list of 100 things you can do and mark off. If anybody's interested in that, I brought one copy. Well, I'm trying to work on it. It's a lot of things. Take a field trip, visit a nursery, attend an environmental school. It's a whole lot of things. Donate a book to a library. Right. It's it, on the list, too. It just gives you things to do, you know, as a Garden Club member. And it's a good chance to win some big money. 250 
there's opportunities. Do any of you know people who would like to be a sponsor? We have several lined up. There's a whole different categories. There's opportunity drawings. Each of your circles and garden clubs should have opportunity tickets that they're selling and raffles. And there's prizes. There's also um, in Winter Park at the headquarters for the Florida Federation of Garden Clubs, there's an April 24th brunch and a dinner. And this is a dress up formal kind of thing. If you'd really like to be there, you can buy tickets to attend that. If anybody's interested, uh, Sam and I could direct you to the right person. We will be attending. Yeah. Um, but it, it should be interesting. The other thing they're gonna do in 2025, and all garden club members are invited, is they're gonna have the board of directors meeting on board a cruise ship. We're gonna be going to Mexico and just spend some time just going around the ocean, I think. <laughs> uh, and it's January the 6th through the 11th. Instead of being inside of a building, we'll be out on a ship for that board of directors meeting. And you can see we're gonna be going to Cozumel and also a perfect day at Coco Cay, which I believe uh, Carnival Cruise Line, that's their property. And, it go, and you can see where we depart from. The um, Shelly Atkinson, she is your Garden Club Travel Advisor. That's her information. It's in every Florida Gardener, the Florida Gardener. If you read that magazine, it, her information is there. And Denise, please take our survey. This is you, right? This completes, this completes my presentation. I wanted to pull up, right, Denise is pulling up the registration page, you go to ffgc. Is it org? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you just scroll down, you want me to scroll or you're going to scroll? Mm -hmm. That means you're going to scroll? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I can, right? Yeah. She just scrolled about halfway down on that home page. You land on the home page and you can see right there conference registration. You can see the schedule. The schedule is not as good as the one I just gave you. We'll be updating it there, but you've got the latest and the greatest. Uh, the hotel registration is live, and there, if you want to do the art show, and the, there's where the schedule is for the flower show. So everything's right there, really easy to see. Um, I think that's it. Were there questions? And if there are questions, Denise, how did you want them to do them, the questions? Were there questions? Is there going to be a, is there going to be a photography thing with the art show? Where is Marianne? Marianne's over Wallace. here. Marianne, is there? I I actually have no part in the art show, but from what I've read, I think you can exhibit yes. photographs. And in out of curiosity, show. you did mention that was a more detailed schedule. I saw Snapdragons up there for Thursday, and I hadn't been asked about that. <laughs> So, um, or not recall that. So am I supposed to be making a presentation? No, they have Pat Cummings. Cummings. They have what? Pat. Okay, someone else is doing Snapdragons. Okay. Do you know her? No. <laughs> She's but at I'll, District 1. I'll talk I'll to you later. Up. I'll okay. follow up on that too. Thanks. But um, you would have to talk to the flower show coordinator about the art show. Right? No, no, no. Who? Not the flower show. Who then? Art show. The art show. Who's the coordinator? I have, I have the form that has all the information. If anybody's interested in the art show, if you see me right after this, I'll give you the flyer for the art show. But the art show is separate from the flower show. But art show is at the hotel. Flower show is over here. Any other questions? Steve, we didn't plant you out there to ask questions. <laughs> I didn't get the memo, sorry. But <laughs> So with things going on here in the hotel you mentioned the shuttle is that going to be running continuously or what kind of schedule is that on i don't have the schedule yet i have a meeting actually sam and i have a meeting tomorrow where that schedule is going to be posted so we'll know it soon we really need people to um, do designs for the flower show when we were at our board meeting last week we were told that only 26 out of 84 uh, available spots have been uh been registered. So you that are designers, please consider doing a design and entering the flower show. You know, it's a chance also to win a ribbon and show your creativity. I think the judges are all out of state. Yeah. 
Any other questions? Is anybody interested in us registering them today? I want to know before I set up my laptop. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that we shared a lot of information on the convention, that you learned something about the convention, and I hope we convinced you to attend, at least to some of the programs or workshops. Can we have a big round of applause for Sam and Connie? Thank you. Thank you. And one more thing, Marianne Salas is also the Florida Federation of Garden Clubs Snapdragon photography chairperson. So she is an absolutely wonderful contact. And if you have any questions, please, please get in touch with her. She's also an extremely talented program presenter and artist. And I tell you, we had her speak to the Wildflower Circle last year. I was mesmerized. I didn't want her to stop. So if you're looking for a program, she's a great person to get. You're welcome. Um, I forgot to, as always, we sell things, right? So there's a T-shirt commemorating the 100th uh, birthday that you can purchase. There's also a pen if you're interested in purchasing a pen. Almost everything is about $10. But if, you, if you're interested in purchasing something to commemorate the birthday, it's on the FFGC website. And... I bought a shirt and I bought a pen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to uh, remind you that uh, we always do surveys for all of our programs. We want your feedback. We want to know what you thought of the speakers and um, how comfortable you are here today. So please take the survey. You can scan it with your phones. Um, there are um, versions of this around the ballroom. You'll also get a link tomorrow. But um, you don't have to do that tomorrow. You can do it right now. So please, uh, if you're planning to meet afterward, please do that. And if you want to register for Designer Distinction, we'll be in the office and can help you with that as well. Thank you, everyone. And also, if you're interested in being a hostess, I'm here to uh, take your wonderful offer of helping us out because we really would like to have Jacksonville well represented because the convention is here. Thank you.